The Bad Wolves on the Brodown. This is a first. Stay tuned. I know a lot of you guys that are familiar with me by now know because I talk about it ad nauseum. I bitch way too much about this. Just not a fan of the clean vocals when the song has to change to accommodate them. Now, it's not that I don't like clean vocals and metal. It's quite the opposite. If it's done properly, it sounds amazing. I just don't like the boy band singer. It's not that I don't like the song having clean vocals. It's one of the reasons why I enjoy Trivium. Trivium doesn't change the entire makeup of the song in order to accommodate the choruses changing into this clean singing. It's like taking the music and just moving it to accommodate and then trying to move it back and just, most times, it doesn't work for me. Now, why is he ranting about this already, you're saying to yourself? Well, this new song by the Bad Wolves features Aaron Pauly from Of Mice and Men. Big fan of Of Mice and Men. They are another band that is very hit or miss for me. They like to incorporate clean singing as well as brutal vocals. As I've stated, it has to be done right. There are certain songs, there are examples I can show you where they transition and the entire structure of the song doesn't have to change to accommodate this. It's tricky. A band I like to use as an example of this is Breaking Benjamin. When Ben goes into his choruses a lot of times, he gets heavier. But the song structure doesn't change. It just shows his his emotion, his anger, you know, whatever the topic may be. It shows the build up and then the anger releasing. I don't like that. But it doesn't change the song to accommodate. Of Mice and Men has a, a pretty bad vibe. Now, Bad Wolves is another band. To me, reminds me a ton of Five Finger Death Punch. I know that Zoltan is their manager. I know that that formula is something that they use an awful lot. I don't believe they're going to have to change the structure of their song to accommodate Aaron Pauly. So let's find out on the bow down. Let's do this. Guaranteed this is going to be a video I'm going to have to put a copyright on. Sorry guys if you don't get to watch the whole video in its entirety. Heavily produced videos are bad about that. I'm not white listed. Huge fan of Doc Coyle, by the way. Love God Forbid, and I do enjoy some bad ways. And I like his podcast. Admiral's trying to get heavier. Good for him. Bad Wolf is another band that fits a very specific template. They're like Kill Switch Light. Best way I can describe them. Sounds just like the singer. But it blends well. Now that 
that's tough. expected it's a little heavier than I expected. Aaron sounds so much like the Bad Wolves vocalist that it was hard to tell the difference between the two when he came in and started to sing. But I am a fan of Aaron Pauly, I am a fan of, of Mice and Men, so it works. Another song though with no guitar solo. It disappoints me because I'm a big fan of Doc. Doc Coyle is a great guitarist and I love hearing his solos. He doesn't get to do a lot of the rhythmic structure that he did when he was playing with God Forbid, which I miss that. I love Doc's playing in God Forbid, and the Bad Wolves is a tamer version of a band for him, so, you know, it is what it is. I understand that. I just miss it, and I was kind of hoping I could hear a guitar solo on this particular song. Now, that breakdown was brutal. I loved it, and, and I made the comment that they're like, kill switch light. They kind of are. They remind me a little bit of a, a toned down kill switch engage. But overall, this song is not disappointing. I've, I've enjoyed it, so I, I hope you're enjoying it. Maybe in the next minute that we have left, we might can get a little bit of a, a little bit of a guitar solo out of Doc. So let's find out. Not real sure about the chant. I'm not a big chanting fan. Super weird video. There you have it guys, the Bad Wolves. Not bad, not my favorite, but certainly not something I would change if it came on. If I was driving down the road and this came on my playlist, I thought it played through, it's not a bad song. Kind of their template, you know, the heavy, heavy, singy, singy, stuff that I normally don't enjoy. This was okay. This didn't change the entire structure of the song to fit the singy, singy part to then move it back over to the heavy, heavy one. It all just kind of blended in well, which is really what I look for when I'm listening to music nowadays for that sort of thing. Bad Wolves did a pretty good job on this one, so I gotta give them a thumbs up. I liked it. Way to go, Doc. Next time, give me a guitar solo. Like, share, subscribe. And until the next time, guys, as always, go back me, bro!